In this video, we'll be introducing the new Anchor CTL client. I'll cover installing Anchor CTL, configuring your Anchor CTL YAML file, generating a software bill of materials, otherwise known as an SBOM, evaluating that SBOM using Anchor Enterprise, and viewing vulnerabilities for your SBOM. Let's get started. To install Anchor CTL, head over to our documentation site and visit the Installing Anchor CTL page. We'll leave a link in the description. Here you'll find instructions for various operating systems. I'm going to go ahead and copy for my operating system, Mac OS. I'll go ahead and run that curl command locally here in my downloads folder. And you'll see that Anchor CTL.dmg was placed in my downloads. Uh, on the Mac, I'll just go ahead and open that up. That will mount the file to uh, a new location here on my Finder. I'm going to go ahead and just put that executable into my Downloads folder. And we can see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and move that into my path. Now you'll see I'm able to run Anchor CTL. You will need a valid deployment for your Anchor CTL, so let's go ahead and configure the anchorctl.yaml file. To get set up with the anchorctl.yaml configuration, head back over to the install page, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a command for downloading the anchorctl.yaml file. Once you've downloaded the anchorctl.yaml file, go ahead and open it up in a code editor and you'll see various configurations, and the first three configurations are required for using Anchor CTL. This is the URL of your deployment. You may need to include a port in your URL, your username, and your password. There are other configurations. All of them are optional. You may want to configure your logging level or your output format. Uh, these are personal preference. You have a variety of locations you can save your anchor ctl.yaml file a list of config priorities is detailed in our documentation once you've saved your configuration you can use the anchor ctl system status command to confirm your credentials this will show you a list of available services running in your anchor enterprise deployment next let's use the anchor ctl sbom command to create an sbom from a container image You'll see that Anchor CTL SBOM has two subcommands. We'll start with the create command and create an SBOM from the Nginx container hosted on Docker Hub. By default, the SBOM will be created in the configuration output format you've saved. In my case, this is showing a table of the package dependencies within Nginx. Next, I will create an SBOM using a popular community standard called Cyclone DX. I'll do this by overriding my default and specifying dash O Cyclone DX in the command line. Next, we'll use Anchor CTL SBOM upload to process the Nginx container. Once you've uploaded your SBOM, you can run an Anchor CTL image list to see where Anchor Enterprise is in processing the image. In this case, you'll see the analysis status is analyzed. Next, let's head over to the UI to take a look at the results in detail. In the UI, you'll see the SBOM you uploaded in the image analysis section of the application. Anchor Enterprise will automatically process every SBOM for policy violations and vulnerabilities once it's uploaded to the system. You can download it vulnerability port here or from the command line. There's lots else you can do with Anchor CTL. Let us know what else you'd like to hear about in the comments and check back for more releases.